Hello, I'm George. I'm one of the nurses in A and E. I've looked at your daughter's notes, and I see that she has eczema. Yes. That's right. Can you tell me about your daughter's eczema? What happens when she has eczema? Look, it's awful. It started when she was about six months old. She just scratches most of the time. She finds it hard to sleep. She scratches so much. I see. Yes, it is very unpleasant. Where does she have the eczema? It's mainly behind her knees. She also has a rash in her elbows. The problem is that it's easy to scratch there. Yes, it is. Have you noticed anything that starts it off? Anything that triggers it? Yes. I was thinking about the things which might make it worse. I think it started when she stopped breastfeeding. As soon as she started drinking milk, she got the rash. I'm not sure, but I think orange juice makes it worse too. Well, both those things are common triggers. We can talk about things to avoid later. I've got some information for you. That would be very helpful. I try to do things to help her, but I'm not really sure about eczema at all. I don't even know what causes it. They are not sure what causes it, actually. It seems to be linked with allergies. Particularly allergies to foods, like dairy products and citrus. That makes sense. She can't drink milk or orange juice. Fortunately, she likes drinking other types of juice. Some children are sensitive to wool and do better if they only wear cotton. There are several other common allergies which are linked to eczema. For example, pet allergies seem to go hand in hand with eczema. Yes, I remember reading about that on the internet. Can you tell me about your daughter's current treatment? Does she use creams on the eczema? Yes. Well, sometimes. The GP gave me some cream to use every day. It's like a moisturizer. That's good. It's very important to use a moisturizer a few times a day. When do you usually put the cream on? I put it on first thing in the morning, after she has a bath. Then a couple of times during the day if she is itching a lot. I try to put it on last thing at night. Before she goes to bed. It sounds like you are doing the right thing with the moisturizer. Can you just tell me again about her bath time? How often do you give your daughter a bath? I give her a bath every morning so she is clean for the day. I use special soap, not perfumed soap. Okay. I'll understand. It might be better for the eczema if your daughter did not have a bath every day. Baths tend to dry out the skin. Even if I use a moisturizer afterwards. That's right. Try to wipe her hands and face with a moist cloth instead. Can you tell me about any other creams you are using? Well, I'm supposed to use a steroid cream if her skin gets very red and inflamed. The thing is, that I don't want to use the steroid cream. I don't think it's safe. I can appreciate your concerns. Many people worry about steroid creams because they think it's like the steroids that weightlifters use. Yes, that's what I thought. No, the cream that your GP suggested that you use is a very low dose of steroid medication. You only use the cream when her eczema flares up. It's only a short-term treatment. I'm still not happy about it. I've been reading about some natural creams, which is supposed to be good. I think I know the ones you mean. Some of these creams can be helpful, but it's important to remember that they are still medications. Your GP has prescribed a cream that she thinks is right for your daughter. And only to be used now and then when the condition gets worse. We need to stop your daughter itching so much that her skin bleeds. Oh dear, maybe that's why it happened. Her skin became very red and extremely itchy last week. She was scratching all the time. Then, some of the areas on both her arms started to bleed. Now they are weepy, and I'm worried that it's infected. You did the right thing coming in. If it is infected, your daughter will be put on some antibiotics. I see, okay, some antibiotics. It is extremely important that she takes all the antibiotics. Also, make sure that she has the antibiotics with some food. You could give her the antibiotics with a biscuit or a piece of toast. That's a good idea. I'll try that. Right, I'll give you this patient information leaflet now. We can go through the hints together. Oh yes. This is very helpful. Try to keep your daughter cool, especially at night. That may make it easier for her to sleep at night. It would also be better to dress your daughter in clothes made of cotton or natural fibers. Okay. That makes sense. I'll try to keep her room a bit cooler. 
Try to cut down on the number of baths your daughter has. I remember that you said that you use special soap to wash your daughter. That's good. It's essential that you put on a moisturizing cream several times a day. Keeping the skin moisturized is one way you can help to prevent skin infections. Okay. So, putting on the cream is very important. Yes, it is. Using the steroid cream, if necessary, is also very important. I'll just repeat the important information that using steroid cream is not the same as using the steroids that bodybuilders use. Yes, I understand that now. I can see that there are times when my daughter may need the steroid cream. That's great. There are some hints in the leaflet to help with the itching. Keep your daughter's fingernails short so she can't hurt herself if she scratches. It's a good idea to take her mind off it if she is starting to scratch. Yeah. Sometimes she scratches herself very badly. I'll try those hints and see if it helps. The last hint is a reminder of the food triggers of eczema. You already know that your daughter is sensitive to dairy and citrus juices. Just keep an eye on any other foods which cause any problems. I'll do that. Thank you for the advice. I'll take this leaflet home with me too.